Hi everyone, welcome back to Code Step by Step. My name is Anil. In this part of React Redux and Saga series, we will learn how we can create a Redux wrapper around the React JS application. Now you may have a question that why we need a Redux wrapper. I will give you the answer within a moment with that diagram. But first of all, let's cover the points of that part, right? So first of all, we will cover uh, uh, all files, or you can say that we will create all files like action file, reducer file, store file. But keep in mind. We will work only in the store file. I will create the separate part for action and reducer for better explanation. After that, we will create a wrapper around the React JS application, and that will be you can say that kind of component, a provider component. What is the actual use of it? I will tell you. And uh, then we will make a Redux store. That means we will work on that store file. And at the last, we will cover some important interview questions also. Right. So uh, let's understand the React wrapper or uh, Redux wrapper uh, first with the help of diagram. Then we will jump on the code. So here you can see that this is basically the Redux structure, right? So here you can see that this is our React JS application, and we have some component inside it, right? So uh, let's say uh, component one, two, three, and four, and five, and six. So how Redux can uh, communicate with all these components? For that, what we will do? We will create a wrapper. Around our React JS application, right? And here uh, is actually a component of uh, Redux, which is provider, right? So we will make a, a wrapper around our React JS application, and what it actually do? It will connect our Redux with the React, right? So what actually this wrapper will do? It will connect. Uh, Redux with the React JS, and how it actually work? So when we want to just uh, send something to the uh, from React to the Redux, then we will send a action. And we when we want to get something from uh, Redux to React JS, then we will get the data from the store. So we will create a action file. We will create the reducer file. We will create the store file, but we will work only inside the store file. We will not work with the action file and uh, reducer file in that in this in this part. I will create a separate part for uh, both of these uh, features, and uh, because that will be a complete and better explanation. If if I will just uh, uh, cover all these things in a single part, then it is really hard to understand. So let's go step by step. We will just write the code inside the store and we will inject with the Redux, right? So I hope you understand that part. If you have any confusion, you can ask me in the comment box. I will definitely reply you. All right. So now uh, jump on the code part. So here you can see that we have a SRC folder. So what I'm going to do? I'm going to make a one more folder. You can put any name to this folder. I will just put all my Redux file inside it. You can put here services. You can put here store. You can put here Redux. So to better understanding and the naming convention, I'm putting here Redux. Right. And inside it, I will create some files like action dot js. Uh, one more thing that you have to note that uh, it is not mandatory to put this file name action dot js. You can put here like uh, uh, order action dot js, search action dot js, uh, member action, user action, whatever you want to put the name. That is that is perfectly fine. Why I am putting here action dot js so that you can. uh you can understand with this diagram and you can just uh, imagine that what we are going to create we are creating action reducer and all right and in one application there can be more than one action that that can be asked in interview that how how many action we can create in uh, action files we can create in uh, uh, redux so the answer is as many you want same for the reducer so let's create here reducer dot js right and because we can have many reducer uh, there should be uh, one root reducer also so let me put here root dot js and what is the use of this see there is a thumb rule inside the actually i just uh, need to rename it i am putting here root reducer right all right So, uh, what is the purpose of root reducer? See, in Redux there is a thumb rule that if we have multiple uh, 
reducers then we have to combine in a single reducer first then we can just use them with the store otherwise we cannot so that's why let's say if we have only one reducer dot js if we have a reducer two reducer three when then we have to just combine in a single file then we can use them and how we can combine in i, I will tell you whenever we will uh, create the uh, part for reducer and uh, now let's move with the last one which is store dot js in this file we will write some code and what is the purpose of this store it will get the old data from reducers to uh, to store file and then it will send to the uh, react js application right so you can understand with that, this diagram it will collect the data from reducers and then it will send to uh, uh, send back to the our react js application right okay so we will write some code here but we don't need action reducer and root reducer so i'm just closing them let's open the index.js here you can see that in the app uh, component which is uh, we are importing from app.js uh, file there is a wrapper around react.stick mode so if you will remove it it will still work fine if you want to just keep then that's okay otherwise you can remove it also this is provided by the default react.js uh, framework right all right so this is still working fine so what i need here i need a wrapper so can i just simply put here wrapper like this no actually that will not work how it actually work we have to import wrapper from react redux and uh, what is the name of that uh, wrapper the name of that is provider now let's create a provider wrapper around the react.js application will it work now the answer is no why let's check first in the uh, browser here you can see that we got a error like the above error with this and uh, the error is actually cannot read properties from get state because it needs some data from store right it actually have a uh, props like store and it must have to pass some data it could be blank or it could be undefined it could be uh, numeric anything value it need from the uh, store so that it can just say that uh, my wrapper is completed now I, I am able to pass the data from redux to react.js so how we can do that so let's go come back to the react.js and let's import here import something from uh, redux and what we have to import here create store let's just create a function const store and just simply use here create store and uh, let's export store but still you will get a error here right export let me put here default so this is a store but still it will give a error why because create store need a function and uh, where from it will get that function it will come from the reducer or from the root reducer but they are not created yet so what we can do here we can create a dummy function so let me get a dummy reducer for a moment and that is the arrow function we can return something like 100 you can just return directly 100 from single line also but uh, that is actually more easier for uh, new developers or freshers now we have a dummy reducer inside it but whenever we will create uh, actually reducers then we will provide here actual reducer there right all right so now just come back to the index and uh, import store import store from redux store and let's provide here store like this and now you will find that this is working fine there is a no error right okay that is fine so if you want to just uh, console this store here console dot one root 
uh, sorry not root store then you will just get some uh, functions here like this but uh, I'm not going to in much depth in that part we will understand later like observable dispatch get state everything is are important but I will tell you in the upcoming part all right so but now you may just think that okay but there is a no output at all of this part the reason is because for actual output we have to set up the complete redux and that cannot do in a single part if i will do it in a single part then it could be like a, a, a 40 or 50 minute video or might be one hour video so i will just create a store in that part in the upcoming part we will create a action and reducer then you are able to get the data or you can say that that time you are able to get the output so that's all for this part if you still have any kind of query you can ask me in the comment box and uh, uh, actually i'm requesting you to support me by like this video subscribe my channel and provide your valuable feedbacks in comment box thank you so much for watching this part